you all over again. You've got to be out by two. And the, the, the sign went up from the bench from Australia. Play until you're too clear, they know. So now all players on court know it's got to be too clear. Two Tyre lifted, lifted, no, actually it was Van Dyke lifted a knee. So the clock has stopped and we're into second extra time. The play from Gerard that kept them alive. 58 apiece. Need to be in front by two. McMahon. There's the first. They need a break. Australia needs to break this. So from this centre, steady heads. Catherine Cox for gold. Oh, it doesn't drop. Cox had a chance at the end of normal time. And she had a chance then as well. But they've still got their noses in front, the Diamonds. Remember, it's 59-58. You must lead by two. Well, hold a thought for the pressure on the shooters. Oh, who'd be a shooter? You're saying the bench can't look. We almost can't look. Two tie air. She's injured. Well, Furman working hard to get round front position makes it a little easier, both out of play. That's the equaliser. And the Silver Ferns have the centre. So we're back on goal for goal. A turnover now would be sweet from the Diamonds, almost a three second call. Van Dijk out of the circle knows that tutayer has been the striking shooter. And Tutayer's mobility lacking after she went over on that ankle. Every contact call hurts all the more when it goes to a shot. OK, so now the Silver Ferns have their nose in front. They must score from this centre Australia. Fully to Green. Puts the pressure on the forward line. They can't risk the error. That very nearly a touch from uh, Williams that was back in Silver Fern hands. Oh, Scarlett's big arms, but uh, she was holding off Von, Von Berto. Always a deliberate offside, though. She had nowhere else to go but deliberately offside. It's against the essence of the rules. The screen is on. They're reluctant to go there. Still outside the circle. Now to Cox. So important. She nets this one. She does. This will go down as one of the all-time great sporting contests. Forget the code, forget the era. OK, locked up, George to Langman, to Tyre. Hold up, Furman, hold up, hold up! Maria to Tyre is nearly spent. She's in pain, but the shots keep coming. Indeed they do. So again, their nose is in front of the Silver Ferns. Almost misunderstanding, but Mahn saw it at the last minute. There'll she, be a reluctance to hold time. She's in trouble, McMahon, I think. Is she OK? Um, huge call from Gary Burgess. Huge call from Gary Burgess. The crowd are hating it. And misunderstanding from the players as to which way he's indicating. He's now warning the Silver Fern bench. Now he's acknowledging the time call, but massive confusion on court. And the ball has gone back to the Australians. So Norma Plummer nearly having a heart attack on the side for Australia. Thought he had, as many did, reversed that decision. Australia maintaining possession. There's must, no easy way into this circle. Must score from this possession. Cox with the chance to make it 61 apiece. She does. So now they play for a turnover. Focus on defence. They've been out there in age. Tired legs. Footwork call. Have you ever seen a more welcome footwork call on a netball court? And of all people... Twinkle Toes George, the winner of Dancing with the Stars over in New Zealand. Bully back out to Gerard. Bounce past the oh, green. Oh, replay. Never oh. had possession. The replay call is all about possession. Green. Or perhaps that's my bias and my heart out of my throat. Green shakes her head. 
And again, a little call on the inside. Bully backing into Tutayer. Good hold from Furman. She just hasn't missed this. Last five or ten minutes, Tutayer as Rasmussen jumps up in support. So again, it's still goal for goal, remember. And uh, Grant hurt a finger as she tried to uh, knock that one out. She's holding that finger desperately at the moment. Cox trying to hold, set a position. Very difficult too for the players to hear. The noise is incredible, so they're really watching the signals from the umpires and relying on those. Cox steps back. And the ball is the Silver Ferns. A goal now, and the Silver Ferns have retained their gold medal. Up goes a touch from Berto, magnificent, and stops just short of going offside. Oh, it was a centimetre, brilliant. Cox, can you put it away this time? A touch on the ball, so Cox gets to advance. That one is sweet, takes string. So we're back where we started, level pegging. Such a different complexion on this game. So much pressure when you have possession from the centre because you're risking an error. So much necessity for defenders to create a turnover when the other team has it. Langman to the veteran. Now George has yet to miss since injuring herself and still doesn't. Two tire magnificent no, for the two silver tire, I mean, yeah. She's been remarkable. So 63-62. Australia must score. Great ball. They swing it. They're looking for closer position. And I think trying to draw that penalty that comes with the movement of the ball. The bench on their feet. Catherine Cox just keeps backing herself and most of the time for good reason. Oh. 63 apiece. George. Tutayer is down on the goal line. Langman. Langman looks around. Scarlet answers in support. Gee, there's some tired legs there. Well, Maria Tutayer, I've got to say, is due for a miss. Great touch, Furman. Keeping the pressure on. Bully needs to say clean under the post, but she just won't give it to me. <laughs> She'll miss sometime in 2011. Remarkable shooting performance from it. Grant. Surely fouled Von Berto when she uh, got a hand of that ball. No. Good drive at the back along the base from Catherine Cox, who again goes to the post. Misses. But the, the whistle had gone, so... It's a gamble, though. And as yeah. we said before, there are moments where that has to be changed up because the expectation is to go to the post. I value her courage. Kim Green offers a denial. Oh, so nearly through the hands of... Casey Williams, the contact call keeps Moni Girard out. She'd be wise not to chat. They've got to be exhausted, these girls. Pausing call against Furman gives access. And of course, the more tired they get, the harder it is to keep clean technical line defensively. And I hope it's a great intercept and not a missed shot from any of these shooters that changes this match. And that'll be advanced, so good news for Australia. Well, there's a breaking call. It was just taken in the centre pass. Breaking call against Casey Williams. Offside, though, call turns the ball. New Zealand now with a chance to... Oh, uh, this confusion again. Gary Burgess called the He's offside, not... but ran towards New Zealand's end of court, giving everybody the impression it was heading that way. Well, that's twice he's done something similar. There's had everybody here. Green slips. Oh. She's down. She sure has hurt herself in a three-second call because Green was trying to put herself in position. They couldn't get the ball to her. New Zealand are in front by one. They now have possession. If they score from this possession, it's all over. The call goes up from Casey Williams. One more. That off the sideline, but it's brought back on court as a contact. Williams. Langman. George. Gets it away to two tie to George again. Furman doing a good job at the moment. They're the held up. They need a big play. If they score here, the Silver Ferns, they've won it. Tutaya putting the Dodgers on. Brilliant take by Temapara George. It's in the hands of the one person we'd rather not have it. And that is it. 
great win. Marvellous contest. What a contrast of pitches. Sherelle McMahon, Australian Who, Diamonds captain, can't believe it. Who scored the gold in a similar circumstance eight years ago. For the last time, we went into extra, extra time. Never before have these two had to play so long for an outcome. It was a great game. One of those matches where you just hate to see anyone lose. And again, the tremendous sportsmanship from both sides as they will meet mid-court. Catherine Cox, the first of the Australians to walk across to the Silver Ferns. Catherine Cox, of course, could well have played for the Silver Ferns had she chosen to stay in New Zealand, but thankfully she's a diamond, and the diamonds wouldn't have been contesting that extra time had it not been for Catherine Cox and Kim Green injecting something special at a time when they trail by seven. That's right. She'll, Catherine Cox, sadly, will think about those two shots, one in normal time, one in, at the end of extra time. She'll be thinking about that, but let's hope when she reflects, she realises that she played a huge hand in giving Australia a chance when they were down by seven, when the game looked gone. Well, could you have asked anything more of them? No. Could you have hoped for more for them? Yes, of course. But what a brilliant, brilliant contest. For Norma Plummer, her Delhi dozen don't end with a Delhi delight. And the Silver Ferns come away with a gold medal victory. They played tremendously throughout the competition as they now thank the crowd for their support. The crowd was terrific for both teams. Tracy Fear on screen, a former Australian, is the uh, high performance manager for New Zealand. Tears in her eyes, so too Nat Von Berto, the Australian vice captain. Spare a thought for her at centre, in the middle of the action, in the thick of things, and Langman for what just seemed like an eternity. Kim Green, who fell awkwardly, has nothing to uh, regret. No. And as we mentioned, the uh, great Irene Van Dyke at 38. There she is, just at the top of screen behind Rasmussen. It's tears for the Australians. But she becomes the oldest medalist in netball history at the Commonwealth Games. 38 years of age as they go up to greet their supporters. The Australians naturally shattered by all of this. But it was a marvellous contest. A wonderful demonstration of world-class netball. Whippy Ate was there four years ago. The Kiwi flag held aloft. Tutaia, absolutely sensational performance in goals, is congratulated by their executive director. Nat Methurst has been so stunning for Australia across these Commonwealth Games. Didn't see the completion of that match. De Bruyne, Langman was wonderful. Good heaven, she can cover some court. It's hard to know what to say to the faces of the Diamonds, such beautiful faces, such great athletes, except thank you, and we're so proud. So as the Diamonds make their way from court, the middle ceremony will proceed shortly, and the Silver Ferns, delighted at a marvellous victory in one of the great games that netball has ever seen where I doubt very much the Australian girls will be wearing the get-up that we've got on at the moment. Hopefully they're wearing some smiles though because it is a silver medal. We'll head back there now with Anne Sargent and John Harker.